it's, it's kind of hard to explain to people that aren't from a farm, but it's fun to always be going 24 hours a day. Something's always going on. Animals rely on you, people rely on you. Cow's milk is important to society because actually the cow is turning forage and different kinds of inedible things for humans into a food that is edible for human beings. And so that milk is incredible because it can be a source of protein, but it can be turned into cheese, it can be liquid milk, it can be so many things. Ice cream, everybody likes ice cream, right? But it's amazing, a cow is an amazing animal. We have three locations in Idaho. Two are actual dairies, one is just for heifers. We milk 3,000 cows. We've got about 800 acres of farm ground. It's kind of a humbling thought that our 3,000 cows feed as many people as it does, and it's kind of a good feeling at the end of the day to know that we do that. We know that the world is growing and that the demand for nutritious food is also going to grow with that global population. There are a variety of pressures that U.S. dairy farmers face today when they're looking at the global marketplace. The first and foremost driver is always going to be price, so we have to produce enough nutritious food at a reasonable price. There's a really interesting story about family ownership in the dairy industry in the United States. We do have a more consolidated, larger farm model but we still see 95% of our dairy farms at the national level family owned. It's important to take on sustainable measures because it's what the marketplace wants. Besides the fact that you should want to be sustainable and equitable to your dirt and to your cows and to your air and to your water. And so we've got to figure out ways to meet that. There's lots of opportunity to reduce our overall emissions as an industry. U.S. dairy actually contributes only about 2% of our total greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. But 2% is still significant, and that's why we as an industry have committed to a greenhouse gas neutrality goal by 2050 and working with all of our farms across the entire United States to help get to that greenhouse gas neutrality. So at this dairy, we strive to make sure that nothing goes to waste. So even on the water, that water is being utilized three times, being used in the barn, then going out to wash facilities, and then eventually going back on the crops. We do that the same thing with feed. We utilize byproducts from other industries that would typically not be utilized. We just want to make sure that nothing goes to waste. So how we feed our cows is a very important component of our journey to more sustainable dairy production. We're using a number of different additives, different things to increase our feed efficiency. We have one where we're actually feeding to reduce our methane emissions. They eat less and they're still producing the same amount of milk and cheese and fat and all those things. Mostly by increasing the efficiency on the feed, they're getting more out of it, making the cow a healthier, happier cow when it comes to matching up more with her body and her needs. So the more agreeable the diet is with the cow's body, there's gonna be less that come out the back end. The main issue that I face as a dairyman is trying to stay in business, making sure that we stay competitive. Sustainability is just another issue that's coming along that is gonna add cost to us that we're trying to navigate. There is no doubt that for our industry to grow and to be more sustainable, it is going to require infusions of capital. There are going to be financial institutions that are gonna to have to step up in order to afford some of these sustainability measures, we partnered with a bank on a feed additive, and we are working through that project as we speak. It's incumbent upon us to make sure that farmers have the revenue streams to make the investments and to make the sustainable choices. Because it's very, very difficult to be sustainable or to be green if you're not profitable. So the future for dairies is really embracing technology. As we see the world moving farther to common goals of sustainability, there's all sorts of innovations that are coming out there as well as technologies. If you're not open to innovation as a farmer, you're probably not going to be milking cows for very long. The main reason that we're still in business, I believe, is because number one, we really enjoy it. Number two, we take care of the cows. They're fed, they're milked, their nutrition is on point. Breeding, reproduction's always been good. And we're willing to try new things. So if we can maximize our efficiency, ensure we have healthy, happy cows, we can maximize profitability, we can keep folks on the farm, and we can ensure that our dairy farmers are able to supply the world with that sustainable nutrition.
What we see is that dairy family-owned farms are really, really essential to how the dairy industry is going to meet the demands into the future. All right, look in here, give me a good cheese. We see family farms doing the right things because they want to pass that farm on to their children. This has been a dream of mine since I was a kid to be able to do this. My goal at this point in my career is to make sure that we're competitive enough and sustainable enough that if my kids want to do this at some point, then they have that luxury. And if they don't, then that's going to be OK. It's a wonderful way to live, wonderful way to raise your children. And yeah, it's just a great way of life.